Well, welcome back to another episode of ARCA. Let's get to know. I'm Casey Campbell. We're pleased to be joined by Mason Diaz, the driver of the number 74 Chevrolet for Visconti Motorsports. How's it going, man? It's, it's going great. Um, get ready for this upcoming week in Nashville, and we have Dover right, right um, following Friday. So a lot of things need to go in play for us. But uh, so far, it's been a great season with Visconti for my first year with them. And uh, hopefully we can continue on with the top five for the year. Yeah, so um, it's been it's been going pretty well. It's been going pretty well for you. What's it like? You know, it's not really a new team. It's kind of like coming back home in a way for you. Uh, yeah, I haven't raced them before. Um, I know with this year with the partnering up with Mad Motorsports and Miss Connie, so it's kind of partly back back to me. But we're using all Tommy's guys um, this year with Tommy Baldwin coming into play with um, Miss Connie has been great. Tommy's a great individual, very smart, intelligent man. So, so far he's been the brains behind it all. And uh, it's been going great for us this year. Definitely with uh, new Smyrna, we probably should have, we were in contention for winning that race. And then we got wrecked late on. But Pensacola with the second place finish, um, hopefully we can go rack it up again this, this weekend in Nashville and bring him a win. Yeah. Okay. So let's kind of get to know you outside of racing. What do you like to do? Um, right now, I'm full-time student at Old Dominion University, so um, most of my time really goes into schoolwork when school's in session, so to say, for semesters. Outside of that, I love uh, my family. We go off-roading a lot. We have side-by-sides, so we enjoy doing that. I like to fish, do outdoor activities, so to say. Um, always like being outdoors. Um, it's always a fun time to hang out with friends and be doing anything go to the lake for a day or whatever it could be you know yeah um what's your favorite activity to do with friends um normally a lot of my, me and my friends we go fishing quite a bit definitely lakes nearby or travel to lake gaston Potomac river just wherever we can what's the biggest fish you ever caught uh it's a, about a seven pound bass nice. which is it's pretty big but at the same time there's big ones out there mm-hmm. um how, are you on iRacing often? No, um, I was during quarantine, but I've been taking, I haven't really been on. My pedals broke and just haven't purchased new ones yet. Nice. Um, all my friends still keep me in the loop for it, but I'm just not on it. Yeah. Um, what is your favorite, um, let's see, what's your favorite thing to do? What, what do you prefer, boating or tubing? Well, tubing or jet skiing or anything like that. Well, I jet ski a lot, um, as well as I don't really go tubing that often. We, um, my family, we have a couple of jet skis and same with like a pontoon boat. So we just go to the lake and chill on that. But um, I mainly jet ski quite a bit. Um, I do love tubing though. It's definitely fun. I like kneeboarding. Same with uh, wake surfing. Yeah. Um, anything to do on the water, I've basically tried. I have not tried skiing yet though. I want to do that. But um, that a goal for I this go- that a goal for this summer to try water skiing. Oh uh, yeah, if I have the chance to. Um, we don't really have the capabilities of doing it off the pontoon, but we could. But it's just that we don't really do it that often. Um. Yeah. What is your favorite TV or Netflix show? Uh, right now, um, I'm really big on NCIS. Really? Yeah. Me and my girlfriend started watching it a while ago, and it's just kind of kept going. Um, right now, I've been watching that. It's really about it right now. I don't really watch TV that often. I know. Yeah. It's been the biggest, um, what have you been up to kind of, you know, just kind of you know, with the long layoff time, what have you been up to uh, besides school? You know, um, I race full-time in cars tour. So that's right. Um, with the, that series. So I've raced three races now with them. April was kind of off month for me. I was supposed to go up and do some dirt racing up North, but it didn't pan out properly. So let's go race a buddy's car, Trevor Collins and his equipment, but his other car wasn't ready yet, so we just, we figured this is best not to do that. Wait till later in the season. Hopefully, I can get up there and go do that. Some dirt crate, lit, dirt crate late model racing. Um, we're running cars tour. We've had speed, just not the finishes right now. We're going off of two DNFs. Um, upfront contentions for both of them just got wrecked out or just didn't. Last weekend, we got some contact and went to went to a big motor issue. So, just unlucky. Um, coincidences that happened for us but um we're wait but so actually for this weekend for nashville i'm racing ace speedway and cars tour friday 
and I'll fly out to Nashville Saturday morning, early in the morning. So yeah, full-time schedule with the Cars Tour and ARCA. Busy week. How do you manage like Cars Tour? Because there's not many ARCA races in the East season. So how do you manage like trying to drive in the Cars Tour and all that? Um, There's only eight races for the East and this big month, two month break on. So we have two months now. Uh, it's coming to the end right now. It came hurry and very fast, but uh, it's not really too difficult. There's two difficult weekends this year with Cars Tour and ARCA. Um, this weekend, May 7th, May 8th, and later on the season, I believe it's August 28th and 29th, Milwaukee race. Is that Sunday? Yeah. I raced motor mile that, that Saturday night. So those are the only two scheduling difficulties that there is, but um, hopefully the rain stays away so both of them can happen. But um, other than that, it's just no different than last year what I did with ARCA. I raced late mall stocks basically every week. So it's just going back and forth. Anytime you're in a car, it keeps – the driver well so any off season or off time from a car you, you kind of lose a little bit of the the secondhand knowledge of driving nice uh, okay so what are three things people do not know about mason diaz um well believe it or not most people do not know that i'm a student in the school a lot of people are just like because it's not really it's common but same time not common for drivers to be in school Right. I know a few of them, but a lot, of, a lot of people don't know that. Um, wow. I'm pretty open book, so I really don't know. Um, hmm. I guess another thing people don't know is that I have a lifted truck. It's on 38. Um, another thing would be I don't know. You got me. I'm thinking like something that I don't like. Hmm. Is there like a food you don't like or something you yeah, really like to that. do? Oh, I don't really like cheese that much. I always really? get to people. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't know. I'm not last to intolerant or anything, but I just don't like cheese. Like but any, I'll eat, kind of, any kind of cheese? Like, so you, so you don't eat I'll pizza. eat pizza, but that, that's that's much as I'll do with cheese. I don't do anything else. Like, I I can't eat cheese like a burger or anything like that. Really? Uh, hey, I'm, hey, I'm right with you there, but um, I don't like cheese. No, I don't either. Uh, well, I'll eat pizza, but because that's, yep, that's good. That's the only thing I'll eat cheese on. Um, yeah, that's good. We got something in common. Yeah. So, and quite interesting. And finally, um, I know the ARCA East Series, you know, going to the Nashville Fairgrounds. What's that going to be like? Um, I only been to Nashville once. I raced a prolate model there. I guess it was two years ago now. Yeah. Um, went there in practice. We got wrecked out in practice, and we ended up buying a rent from someone, put in the car qualified it qualified like dead last and ended up finishing seventh in the race so a lot of there was a lot of laps there to, to figure out the place and i've been watching footage for the arca event and i definitely think it's gonna be a good show they haven't been to nashville in quite a while they were on the schedule for last year but it got canceled because of covid so i think it's gonna be very interesting um it's a very fast track so as long as everyone uses their heads it should be a really clean race and it should be a good time. Nashville's a, a really cool track. It's a lot of character characteristics that are different than any racetrack we go to. Oh yeah. All right. All right, Mason. Uh, thanks for letting us get to know you, the, to know you and we'll, uh, we'll see you. Uh, well, good luck this weekend at the fairgrounds. Yeah. Thanks for having me on. Of course. I real fast. I want to thank all my sponsors, Solid Rock Carriers and uh, Prince William Marina Bombers Eyewear and everyone. So if you want to follow along for the season, um, please follow me on my social media is Mason Diaz Racing. And uh, thank you for having me on the show.